This fall is going to be full of new hardware and Techtember is kicking it off with some long awaited products from AMD, Intel, Nvidia and Apple. To give you an overview of what to expect this September, we will take a look at what each company is set to reveal and when it will happen. Without further ado, let's dive right in. First in line is Apple. I know this isn't an Apple focused channel, but I'm really interested in the new tech Apple is releasing ever since they started designing their own chips. On September 7th, basically tomorrow, Apple is having their far out event. The star of the show will be the new iPhone 14 and this time rumors predict that not every new iPhone will get the new chip. Most likely only the Pro models will come with the new A16 SoC, while the non-Pro iPhones have to stick with the older A15. This is a new release strategy from Apple and the result of the delayed 3 nanometer process from TSMC. I'm interested to see which specific process node Apple will use for the A16 and how they change the design in detail, especially since it most likely will be the foundation for the next gen M3 design. As soon as we have all the information, you can be sure I will take a closer look at Apple's new A16 and its design features. Aside from new iPhones, we also expect new Apple Watch models and new AirPods. If you are waiting for the M2 refresh of the MacBook Pro and other M2 based products, you most likely have to wait until later this year for the next Apple event. Next up is Nvidia and their long awaited RTX 4000 GPUs, aka Ada Lovelace. We don't have a lot of specifics at the moment, but on September 20th, Nvidia CEO Chen Sen Huang will hold a keynote. Although the content of this keynote hasn't been officially announced, it is very likely that Chanson will at least talk about Nvidia's next gen GPUs and I expect we will see a reveal for a launch date sometimes in October or early November. The RTX 4090 should come first, but since we already have pictures of the 4080, the initial launch might include even more cards. We will know for sure in only two weeks time and of course I will provide a video with all the information just for you guys. If you think one event on September 20th is enough, then think again. Because if the current rumors are true, the review embargo for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7000 CPUs will also be lifted on September 20th. Actually, AMD kinda kicked off this year's Techtember with their Zen 4 reveal, they just came a couple of days too early. But the most important stages of this launch, the review and availability are set in September. If everything goes according to plan, on September 20th, you can read all about the performance of Zen 4 to complement the RTX 4000 GPUs Nvidia just revealed on the same day. Only one week later, on September 27th, Zen 4 will be on shelves and ready to power your new system if you have the cash at hand. And as if one double date wasn't enough, we have another day this September that's packed with news from Intel and AMD. We just talked about the launch of Zen 4 on September 27th and yes, that's the date Intel is rumored to reveal their 13th gen Raptor Lake CPUs. It might be a smart move from Intel, keeping potential AMD customers from buying if they can show Raptor Lake ahead of Zen 4. If they can't, it might backfire and encourage users to buy from Team Red. In any case, September 27th will be another action-packed day, even though the actual launch of Raptor Lake will happen a little later, on October 22nd, according to Moore's Law is Dead. This year's Techtember is actually living up to its name. Apple's event with the new iPhone and A16 chip on September 7th, Nvidia's keynote and AMD's Zen 4 reviews on September 20th, plus Ryzen 7000 launch and Raptor Lake reveal on September 27th. It's going to be a really busy month, especially for us tech YouTubers, but also a really interesting one. For transparency reasons, a little disclaimer at the end. While the Apple event, the Nvidia keynote and the Ryzen 7000 launch are officially confirmed dates, the NDA review lift for Zen 4 and the supposed Raptor Lake reveal are still only based in rumors and could change. If this happens, I will pin a comment down below to get you up to speed. Now it's your turn. I'd like to know which reveal or release you are most excited about this September. Are you already planning to buy some of the new tab release this month? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for videos on all the upcoming hardware. This fall is just getting started. And as always, see you in the next video.